Welcome back to my second tutorial on how to make buttons when the user presses a button it does a process or nothing. Now, uh, last time if you remember the last video um, we got to the bit where we had this code and nothing really else and this window when it loads. So, if we go back to the code. Now here's the new part. Now, on this where you put the message box to show uh, before it you want to put space you want to put message box result yeah and then you put equal, oh no, not equal result now once you've done that uh, messed up yeah res get result equals there we go okay so then we go across to here and we go to D and here now this is the title for the box so this I'll put download yes or oh, no um after that the message box button now this is the one you need uh, on my example, I'm going to yes and no. Um, so they can only put in yes or no. Uh, message box image. Um, let's have a question. And um, that's as far as you go. So leave it like that. Um, down here, you put if message box. Yeah, that's not the result equals re result mm -hmm. result equals yeah, here we go equals yes then you go down here and you do open and then go around here do this um, so here you want I missed it out open close do that <laughs> so yeah that should be just like that so at the end here you want two equals so result equal equal message box result yes it does this so um, let's change this text to We have this now, and then you do down again, and you put if result result and the part. No result equal equals message box result dot no close. We want it to do nothing. Um, so if we save that and press F5, download aircraft. Are you sure you want to download? Let's click no, it does nothing. Click yes, and it opens up the browser. So that's really all I was meant to cover. Uh, it's quite simple. Um, if you go back to here and put yes no six dot yes no cancel so you go to 
sorry my recorder ran out of time so back to where we were uh yes no cancel going down here this still works now if um make are you sure you want to download my skin yes yes download no do not cancel to quit now the quit on we go back down here now i'm gonna cheat here and just copy this because i can't be asked to type it in again but you get the point so here it's always quicker if you just go dot again it'll come up with it there um here you go oh, again close open bracket close bracket like that that closes everything um, so that should work and here you put message box show now with this one you can make it say why what um, and with this you can put message box show sorry um so that's that i missed oh, okay. there we go so that's that um i'm just gonna end it here but this is what it does download now the box has three buttons yes takes you there no why not and cancel bye and it's all gone so it looks quite good um i may as well just show you a few more things with this main window so, yeah so if we go down to here border drag a border in there a big border um, down there, down there. so we've got the border in border thickness let's make it four three four um brush good brush let's make it black background red and right click it Oh, that border centre back. Now when we press the five, we have that problem. Usually it's caused by the size to content going back to manual, so you just need to change it back to width and height again. I do not know why it does that, but never mind. See, you got your perfect little box now. I haven't learned how to change the highlight colour, but there probably will be a way. So what I do is I'll just go to background. That. This. I'll make dark at the bottom, light at the top. Or I'll just click that button there. Um, I'll make the light one red. And that one. Can, that one red top one it's gonna be orangey let's make it go very orange um then if we go back up to the border and we want our border maybe to be mm, very red yeah it looks alright so a quick example but that's that uh, change the font to anything you want maybe 15 yeah um, bold 
and also um, it makes that bold as well because you've selected everything to be bold. So that's everything. Um, I'll just do the icon quickly. Click add. Um, I made my own icon using GIMP um, desktop. There it is. And now save all. F5. Icons at the bottom there. Icons in the corner. This is higher. You got everything. All neat. All done. Great looking. Uh, it's very, very simple. See, when it goes blue like that, I don't know how to change that. And it is basically the size that it shows in the editor. A bit smaller, actually. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this second video, well, tutorial, and the next one, I'm thinking I'll probably do it about downloading a file to place on the hard drive without opening the browser, because that one is quite high stuff, so, yeah, I'll do that. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, I hope this helps, um, Click in the corner when it's available for um, the next video and bye.